Now there are two fills that I'd like to look at today, or two fill stickings. The first one, um, you're going to have this sticking, right, left, right, foot. So your right foot, the bass drum. So right, left, right foot, right, left, right foot. Um, I'm going to do this for three beats. So right, left, right foot, right, left, right foot, right, left, right foot. And then I'm going to resolve it on the fourth beat and just play um, a, a, an accent, a, a, a quarter note on, on beat four. Um, I'm going to orchestrate this in a few different ways when I demonstrate it, just to give you an idea of the possibilities that are open to you when you try um, this fill. Again, I'll do it slowly and then more quickly. So the fill that I, I just played, I think sounds really good when you're trying to play it quite sort of flat. So you're not accenting any notes, all your notes are, are accented, it's quite a powerful fill. The next sticking that we're going to look at um, is slightly more subtle. So this time you're going to do right, left, left foot. So you've still got the bass drum on the fourth, sixteenth note of each beat but you're now playing um, two left hands, so a double stroke in your left hand after the right hand single stroke. And you're going to play the right hand um, as an accent and the left hands as ghost notes. So it'll be right, left, left foot, right, left, left foot, right, left, left foot, right, left, left foot. And again, I'm going to resolve it on beat four by just playing a, a quarter note. Um, again, I'll demonstrate this in a few different ways for you. Notice that usually what I'm doing is keeping the ghost notes on the snare drum. I personally like um, accenting on the toms or the crash um, or any other symbol and ghost noting on the on the snare drum but that's just my personal um, taste feel free to experiment with it with it but here it goes um, 